Welcome to Zombie Theater. Today, as we explore the boundaries of good taste, we offer another selection from that award-winning collection of poetry, Zombies in Oz and Other Undead Musings, by Robin Wayne Bailey, published by Yard Dog Press. Today's poem, The Love Song of J. Alfred Zombie, or B.S. Eliot. Let us go then, you and I, when evening is laid out against the sky, past the patient autopsied on the table. Keep down your toast and tea if you are able. Let us lurch through darkened empty streets to bohemian retreats, where bereaved half-balding men sit tippling tea and brandy, composing poems that rip off Rudyard Kipling, lifeless poets, pretentious empty shells who wallow in their vapid private hells and show their entrails for all the world to see as if we cared about old men in impotency. Then let us ask the most ironic question, make the suggestion, would they come to dinner with a literate cannibalistic sinner? In the bar where poets meet, bemoaning failure and defeat, the yellow fog rolls up against the chilly window pane like old men's trousers cuffs rolled up and rolled again. They scratch their heads and try to find a rhyme, but time and climb conspire to drain them, and so they rhyme the same word twice. And I am dreaming of how I'd like a slice of poet pie, that would be nice. <laughs> and indeed, that time will come but the goddamned yellow smoke rubs on the window glass like a horny boyer looking for some ass, and unobservant poets murmurs, there will be time, there will be time, as he taps his pencil, searching for yet another mindless rhyme. Now it is the time for him to meet his fate, time for me to murder and create a meal that mankind will remember, time to murder and dismember. <laughs> Long ago, I realized good poetry must be internalized. <laughs> now is the time, yes, time again for a hundred small decisions. I'll take him while he labors over his revisions, and while his blood pours out in yummy drops, I will inexplicably forsake these couplets. Now my rhymes will come in three. I wonder, do I dare? Do I dare? Use a knife, or carve him up with care, or just devour him, skin and bone and hair. There's not much meat. This poet's pretty thin. I'll leave him nose and cheek and chin and wash that down with a cup of tea and gin. <laughs> It must be admitted that even though I'm dead, I like to get a little head. <laughs> so just what was that body on the table? Some critic will reveal it if he's able. As much as I like poets, I like critics best of all. I like the way they cower in the yellow smoky pall on the pavement or in the grass when I crave a little ass. I like the way their heads pop like little red balloons. I've heard the critics singing, and they're always out of tune. 